What do 3D arrays look like in C? Well, um, to begin, I think we should look at a one-dimensional array. We can initialize it, one, two, three, four, and then with a for loop, when we print it out, we get a number line, a one-dimensional array. Um, it's, it's cool and all, but we can get more dense, complex information in a 2D array, right? Um, while this is used for like printing names or an ID, we can print like boards or um, ChatGPT will use this for computations and whatnot, for matrices, right? And we can do the same thing by initializing one, two, three, four, but instead of using two and two, then with the second for loop, we get this 2D planar array. Um, and that's nice, but, but when we want to get into things like medical imaging or imaging in general, which is very computationally expensive, software will generally use 3D arrays to accomplish this. Now, when we're coding, we always look at a planar surface, a 2D environment, right? So what does a 3D array even look like in such a coding environment? All right, so in our world, a 3D array is like a 3D object. We just see it for what it is, right? It's a cube. But when you're trying to input in the code, you have to think like a 2D creature seeing a 3D world, right? It would naturally be through slices because this is like a two-dimensional surface doubled up, right? It has depth. Um, in the code here, we can initialize that by initializing this eight character array, one through eight. This 4K, we're gonna say I and J and K are gonna be less than two, right? And while they're less than two, we're gonna add um, to it, right? So this K is gonna be responsible for these two blocks on top, right? The J and the K now prints the 2D matrices, right? Remember we had two of these loops when we're printing a 2D array. Now when we add this third loop, it compounds into making two of these and then combining it into this cube. And that's kind of how a 2D creature works in a 3D world. It sees those slices and then, you know, naturally you just have to add to it. Um, but yeah, I thought that was cool. It creates a lot more complex data. I barely have scratched the surface of it, um, but yeah.